coming up next. He was a music legend that stood for love and peace and harmony. And even though he died at a very young age, he has sold almost 150 million singles and albums. And he did all of this without having a single hit. That's right, this legend never had a top 40 hit. But everybody knows his songs by heart, including today's featured song that was inspired by three animals that would appear mysteriously near his home. Really cool story. Despite being a beacon of positivity during the making of his masterpiece, he was nearly murdered, getting shot several times, escaping death by the skin of his teeth. But he would die just a few years after that. Join us as we celebrate a stirring message passed from nature to man and share with the world by a total legend. Coming up next, I'm Professor of Rock. Hey, music junkies, Professor of Rock, always here to celebrate the greatest artists and the greatest songs of all time. You know, if you remember Jello Pudding Pops back in the day, you're going to dig this channel of deep musical nostalgia. Make sure to subscribe below right now. Click the red button and click the bell so you always know when our latest and greatest come out. We also have a Patreon. There you can get more stuff, uh, more videos, and it helps us keep it a daily channel. Just look at a link below. You know, if there was ever an artist sent to this earth to give us peace, love, and encouragement, has to be today's legendary artist. His voice soothed the soul. His message gave hope to all. He's beloved by generations who know most of his songs by heart. And he sold almost 150 million singles and albums, and yet he didn't have a top 50 hit in America. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm talking about Bob Marley. He was only 36 when he died, yet his beautiful book of music, it's everlasting. Among his many gifts to humanity was an eternal mantra to maintain positivity and cast away fear that he composed in 1977. It's today's featured song, Three Little Birds. Three Little Birds by Bob Marley and the Wailers is featured as the fourth track on side two of their 1977 masterpiece album, Exodus. Uh, it was released as a single in 1980. It became a top 20 hit in the UK, where it peaked at number 17, uh, never charted here. As one of Bob's most beloved songs, Three Little Birds is often mistaken for you know, Don't Worry About a Thing or Every Little Thing is Gonna Be All Right you know, due to the recurring phrases in the chorus. The repetition of those lines throughout the song reinforces its uplifting message, making it both memorable and impactful. When one faces the mountains in life, the simplicity and omnipotence of Three Little Birds motivates people from all walks of life to keep smiling, keep climbing, keep going, keep looking ahead to find the beauty in all things. just love the purity and the innocence that inspired Three Little Birds. This is a great story. It quite literally came from the same Three Little Birds that would often perch and sing on the windowsill of Bob Marley's home at 56 Hope Road in Kingston, Jamaica, with three canaries that visited Bob, greeting him with their cheerful tunes. Don't worry about a thing, because every little thing is going to be all right. That was the message that Bob Marley received from the birds that adorned his porch. Uh, and that really happened. Three little birds. It's by my he would tell the magazine, that's where I got my inspiration for Three Little Birds. The imagery of Three Little Birds perched at a windowsill singing sweet songs, uh, and it brought serenity and joy to my soul. Bob's composition talks about birds, um, often symbols of freedom providing a comforting, grounding presence. Her melodies soothe the soul as nature's music. To Bob the Bird's message it was clear. Appreciate the small things. And remember that no matter what happens, everything's it's gonna work out. It's gonna be all right. He felt destined to be their messenger. It was his responsibility to create a song to share an uplifting message with the world. Of course, so will be the doubters that find it hard to believe that Bob was actually inspired by the song um, of Canaries, that that was what inspired this. But he actually has an eyewitness, Tony Gilly Gilbert, a longtime friend of Bob Marley. He was hanging out with him. He saw the birds perform their concerts. 
He remembers that there were indeed three little birds, three pretty birds that simply flew to the windowsill near Bob's front door and they were just chirping away. Tony said that he didn't hear what Bob heard, but it felt as though the birds had some kind of purpose for being there. Then after he finished writing the song inspired by his uh, feathered friends, Bob used three little birds as a term of endearment for his three female backup singers. Prior to the release of his masterpiece Exodus, Bob Marley collaborated with a trio of reggae vocalists known as I-3s. Uh, the ensemble consisted of Bob's wife, Rita. There was Judy Mowat and Marsha Griffiths. Their harmonies were so captivating, they became the sirens of reggae, charming listeners with their sweetness while promoting the Rastafarian Godhead concept. Bob was enchanted by their vocals. He worked with them from their foundation in 1974 until his death in 1981. Now, according to Marsha Griffiths, Three Little Birds was somewhat of an ode to the beauty they brought into his life. She explained, Upon completing the song, Bob would affectionately refer to the ladies as the three little birds. And she would go on to explain that after a live performance, there would usually be an encore, sometimes multiple encores, which Bob loved doing. Bob and the Wailers and his backup trio would go backstage and they would discuss what they should play when they returned to the stage. And Bob would always ask Marsha, Rita, and Judy, what are my three little birds saying? Now, Judy Moat, she truly believed that Three Little Birds was about her and her two friends, although Bob never directly told them that it was. She said, and I quote, Bob is not the type of person who would personally tell us that himself. This is in an interview with Gleaner. She also added, but our musicians, they would come back and say, Bob is really pleased about tonight. They always told us that this song was written for the three of us. Now, whether or not Three Little Birds was inspired by the I-3s, Judy always felt the song came from a higher place. She later told the Gleaner of the magazine, Bob's purpose was rooted in helping people. Yeah, I personally suspect the singers were the human version of those exhilarating canaries that stimulated Bob's zeal for writing such a rousing anthem. So let's pause for a minute to talk about our sponsor. You know, the Professor of Rock Channel is full of nostalgia, of course. It's fun to reminisce about the good times. Think about music and food and places and people that you know, make me happy, make you happy. I have to say that I get excited to start my day with my headphones in and enjoying a bowl of Magic Spoon grain-free cereal. Magic Spoon brings back so many memories of having cereal for breakfast when I was a kid. And now with the Magic Spoon variety pack, I have many more flavors that I can choose from. Flavors like cinnamon roll, cocoa, uh, peanut butter, birthday cake, and fruity, among many others. Each flavor is a high-protein, no-sugar, gluten-free meal that rocks. Use my code, Professor of Rock, or click the link in the description to try Magic Spoon cereal today and get $5 off. You can also find Magic Spoon in your nearest grocery store. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee online. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So click in the link in the description below to go to magicspoon.com forward slash Professor of Rock and use my code, Professor of Rock, all caps, to get $5 off. So back to Bob Marley. Each day, it was a new celebration for Bob Marley. And he memorized that spirit in the first verse. You know, rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun. Three little birds pitched by my doorstep, singing sweet songs of melodies, pure and true. This morning, smile with the rising sun. Bob loved nature, and Jamaica is blessed with an abundance of natural wonders that he found riveting. From the exotic streamer tell hummingbird to the humble house sparrow, nature frequently served as a metaphor in Bob's music. He sang of trees and small acts, a big cat in Iron Lion Zion, and a dog as an errant youth in Craven Choke Puppy. Craven, Birds with their ability to soar above the earth while people remain landlocked inspired songs like Wings of a Dove and Rastaman Chant, uh, though the latter's wings belong to angels. Fly away, fly away. 
The dynamic of Three Little Birds eventually reached places few other songs could, adored even by people unfamiliar with Bob Marley and the Wailers, or those who were you know, foreign to reggae music. Bob's innate awe and wonder of his surroundings, that tapped into the mysticism of nature. In a broader sense, his message in Three Little Birds praises creation, and it conveys his thoughts of truth and hope. He traveled around the world sharing his songs with diverse cultures and people from different backgrounds, which he enjoyed more than anything. Bob Marley's real name was Nesta Robert Marley. But growing up, he was teased about Nesta with some kids saying that it sounded you know, girly. So he decided to use only his middle name, Robert, which of course became Bob. Now, even though Bob Marley had aspirations of becoming a singer from a very early age, there was a brief period where he dabbled in palm reading, you know, showing a surprising knack for it. He had a real gift. However, he abandoned this pursuit at an early age and he steadfastly refused to read palms for anyone thereafter. Must have been something that happened there. Growing up in Kingston was tough for Bob, you know, due to his biracial heritage. He often had to prove his strength and resilience in street fights, earning the nickname Tough Gong. He embraced this nickname and later used it for various enterprises, including his own record label. Three Little Birds was nestled on side two of the epic Bob Marley LP Exodus, as I mentioned before, his ninth studio album, in addition to the angelic voices of I3, the recording of Three Little Birds featured the Wailers, Junior Marvin on electric guitars, Aston Barrett on bass, Carlton Barrett on drums, Tyrone Downey on synthesizer, electric piano and organ, and Alvin Seco Patterson on percussion. Released in 1977, the record gained acclaim when Time Magazine held it as the best album of the century in 1999. Among its other standout tracks were the classic hits Waiting in Vain and, of course, Jammin'. I don't want to wait in vain for your love. A year before the release of Exodus, while rehearsing for a free concert in Jamaica, an anonymous gunman who perceived the concert as a political demonstration shot at the singer. Uh, Bob Marley was actually hit twice in the chest and in the left arm. His wife, Rita, was shot in the head, and his manager, Don Taylor, was shot in the chest and torso. Now, thankfully, all of them survived. Now, the concert that they were preparing for was named Smile Jamaica, and that was scheduled for two days after the incident. And Bob still showed up with the Wailers and fearlessly played for 90 minutes. The harrowing incident, that's referred to in Bob's song, Jammin', with the line, no bullet can stop us now. No bullet can stop us. In 1978, Bob was honored with the United Nations Peace Medal of the Third World for his brave efforts in advocating for peace and justice in Jamaica during a period of significant political turmoil. The Order of Merit is a prestigious accolade bestowed upon Jamaican citizens who have attained significant international acclaim. Its motto, he that does truth comes into the light, that underscores its values. Peace, love, and justice, there were always central themes in Bob Marley's music. I mean, his lyrics often carry deep political messages while celebrating the mystical beauty of his surroundings. Uh, Bob Marley's ability to connect with the human condition, that resonated with people from all walks of life. His awareness of his place in the universe and the depth of his messages, that keep us captivated by his songs even today. Get up, stand up, stand up. Bob's son, Ziggy Marley, and Sean Paul recorded Three Little Birds for the animated film Shark Tale in 2004 and Surf's Up in 2007. Numerous other artists have covered the song, including Robbie Williams, Karen David, Gilberto Gill, Billy Ocean, Monty Alexander, and even the ultimate interpreters, Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> Britain's Got Talent alumna Connie Talbot also recorded a popular version of Three Little Birds for a 2008 album, Over the Rainbow. The single reached number three on the UK Independent Singles Chart and number one on the Billboard Hot Single Sales Chart. It's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. In 2013, 
2013, Hyundai tapped into Bob Marley's legacy for their all new Assurance Connected Care campaign using a remix of Three Little Birds that was created by Bob's son, Stephen Marley, and DJ Jason Bentley from the Legend remixed album to highlight their new safety standards. Then in 2018, Hyundai brought the song back, this time with Maroon 5 recording it for the Hyundai Santa Fe promotion during the, uh, the FIFA World Cup. Room 5 even dropped a music video for their version. Ooh, yeah. Three Little Birds has made its way into a lot of TV shows and movies. Uh, Boston Legal, Smash, and The Handmaid's Tale. In 2007, the track was placed in the film I Am Legend as a song that Will Smith's character frequently sings to lift his spirits during a zombie apocalypse. What better song to use? Jack's also been featured in the movies Club Paradise, Strange Days, Funny People, the comedy drama Ramona and Beezus, and Strange Magic that came out a few years back. Don't you worry. <laughs> now, sadly, in September of 1980, uh, there was something wrong in the air. Bob Marley collapsed while jogging in Central Park and he was rushed to the hospital. It was definitely cause for great concern because doctors discovered that an aggressive form of skin cancer had spread to his brain, his lungs, and his liver. Now, despite his condition, Marley's last concert took place just two days later at the Stanley Theater, now the uh, Benetton Center for the Performing Arts in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. After eight months of alternative treatment, failing to stop the progression of the cancer, Marley boarded a plane to return home to Jamaica. During the flight, his condition, it deteriorated. Upon landing in Miami, Florida, Marley was rushed to Cedars 11 on hospital. At this point, the melanoma had spread to his lungs and brain, and there was nothing that the doctors could do to stop it. Bob Marley passed away on May 11th, 1981. He was only 36 years of age. It's pretty incredible how much of an impact that Bob Marley has made during such a relatively short life. His gleaming encouragement shined brightly right up to the very end of his life. Bob's final words to his son Ziggy were poignant. On your way up, take me up. On your way down, don't let me down. Now, Three Little Birds may have long since flown, and Bob may no longer be with us. But man, the inspiration they gave each other continues to resonate in the universe so strong, strongly as ever. It's a bona fide feel-good masterpiece. Now, I came to the Bob Marley party late in life. Everyone around me loved his music growing up, and I liked it as well, but it seemed like the music that the cool kids were supposed to listen to. So I just didn't pay much attention to it. This was until I went through one of the most challenging trials of my life and I was filled with uh, just crippling anxiety. I felt helpless. Someone I had trusted for years was trying to steal my business and my livelihood. I just felt utter despair. One night I went out for a walk in my neighborhood trying to get my mind off of my plight and I remember a car drove up with the window open. I was playing Three Little Birds by Bob Marley parked by the side of the road and I noticed a guy, and I think it was his girlfriend, they were just talking, but the music continued to play. Bob Marley's soothing lyrics came to me in a rush that just enveloped my soul. Don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be all right. I don't know how to explain it. The weight of the anxiety just toppled off my shoulders and I felt deep in my heart that I was gonna be okay. I remember I walked to my car, I drove right to Walmart, and I bought Bob Marley Legend on CD. That was my companion for the next month. Right. What about you? What are your memories of Bob Marley? What are some of your favorite songs by him? What are your memories of Three Little Birds? Let's have a great discussion about Bob Marley. I think he's one of the greatest artists ever. I've just I've gained such an appreciation for him over the last 10 to 15 years. Let's have a great discussion below. If you like our content, we invite you to subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our community. Until next time, <laughs> I almost said two. Three chords and the truth, my friends. Talk to you soon. <laughs>